my little halos, it's Sarah. Okay, before I get into this video, I just want to say that I want to make a fanfic react reading video. I've seen them on YouTube and they're really funny and kind of awkward, so it's perfect for me. I mean, sometimes it's fun making people feel uncomfortable. Like, they want to click off the video because they feel uncomfortable, but they're not sure about it, so they're actually feeling more uncomfortable by staying and watching the video. But anyway, I want to do that, so if you guys could leave your fanfic requests below, like, tell me what fanfiction I should read, like, it would be Larry fanfiction, obviously. I'm on social media all the time, so if you tell me a fanfic title on Twitter or Tumblr or Instagram or just wherever, all my social media is in the description, then I'll consider it. It can be from Wattpad or Archive of Our Own, but just nothing too long, and I don't care if it's graphic. I mean, all I read is smut anyway, so. But anyway, let's get on to the video, so here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. guys haven't noticed, there's not too much going on in the fandom. It's just little stuff. But I don't think we should complain about this because we're always complaining that there's always too much going on in the fandom. Too much drama. And something's usually happening every single day. So the fact that nothing's been happening for the past couple days pretty bougie. Usually I'd start a video by talking about Harry's hair, but unfortunately there's no new pictures of Harry's hair or him, but there are new pictures of Louis. So there was a new tweet by Red Bull Racing that says, great to see Louis Tomlinson on board the Red Bull Energy Station ahead of qualifying. Okay, to be honest, usually I hate the term daddy and I hate when little girls who are like, what, five go around saying, oh my god, daddy AF. So yes, I'm going to join the bandwagon by saying that Louis looked daddy as fuck if you will. I mean, he looked like a sugar daddy. I love when Louis' hair is up and quiffed in like a little cinnamon swirl. I like when he wears that blue blazer kind of jacket thing. Whatever it is, looks great. Okay, so I don't know if these pictures were taken on different days, but it seemed like it was the same event. Because here Louis is, he's wearing a black short sleeve shirt, and then these are the daddy pictures of Louis. But yeah, Danielle was with Louis, but you know what? She really didn't ruin his aesthetic at all. She was just kind of a blur in the background. Yeah, so again, I don't care that Danielle was in those pictures, she did not ruin Louis Tomlinson's aesthetic at all. And to be honest, I'm not gonna be like one of those Larry shippers who are like, oh, Louis was with Danielle, so obviously he looks sad. I'm not just gonna say Louis looks sad just because he's with Danielle. I'm going to actually look at his face. Even though Louis was with Danielle, I noticed that Louis actually looked genuinely happy. I will admit that. When he was being interviewed, he had a genuine smile and he actually seemed very happy. He looks happy in the photos. And you know that's a lot coming from me, because usually when I look at pictures of Louis, I will downright say, that he does not look happy, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we don't know why he was happy. It doesn't mean Danielle was making him happy. Maybe the event was making Louis happy. I mean, it looked like it was a nice day there. Like, for example, let's just say I went to a One Direction concert with a person I didn't really like that much. I would still be genuinely smiling and having a good time because I'm at a One Direction concert. It doesn't matter about this other person. But if you guys do go to a concert, make sure it's with somebody you like. Someone who can understand your fangirling passions. And then another picture surfaced of Louis and Danielle, and it looks like they're both eating salad. I think. I don't know about you guys, but Louis just looking at that bowl of whatever and he's like Danielle, are you really forcing me to eat this? Like, what the hell is this? Where's my chicken stuff with Parma ham? <laughs> he's like, what is this shit? He looks so disappointed. Also, word was going around that Harry was in the same place as Louis. Like, people were claiming that they saw Harry. But I don't think that's right, because isn't Harry in France filming his movie? This person says I don't want to alarm anyone, but one of my friends is at the Grand Prix in Monaco and she said she has just seen Harry. It says she isn't a 1D fan, so I'm checking if she did mean him and not Louis. It says she put these on Facebook. I can't see them in the background, but I'll see if she replies. To be honest, I looked at the pictures and I didn't see Harry anywhere in there. And usually it's really easy to spot Harry. I mean, if he still had his long hair, it'd be easier to spot him. But my guess is, is that the girl confused Louis with Harry because she said she's not a 1D fan. So I think when the girl said that she saw Harry there, I think she actually meant Louis. But oh my God, I love when people mix up Louis and Harry. It's like, Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, my family does that all the time. The only two members they actually kind of know in the band, because I talk about them all the time, is Louie and Harry, and they'll actually call them Larry. Like, instead of saying Harry, they'll say Larry, and I'm just like... Bless. <laughs> also, Louis was spotted in Monte Carlo yesterday. It was kind of funny because people were like, oh my god, Louis ships Larry. The other day he wore green and then the exact next day he wore blue. And you know, green and blue, Larry colors. Obviously, we were joking. It's just a coincidence. But you know, come on. Louis can't be playing with our heart like this. He can't just wear green and then wear blue the next day. Tomo the tease. Also, someone made a post saying, I'm stunting so I get these sunglasses for free. And it shows a picture of Louis and Danielle, Harry and Kendall, Louis and Eleanor, and Liam and Sophia. 
idea. I mean, guys, that's just total coincidence, but it really does seem like that. I feel like all of Wendy's beards or their stunts, they're all wearing sunglasses. But I mean, to be honest, in the pictures, it was sunny, so obviously that's why they're wearing sunglasses. But that should really be like a marketing tagline. When you stunt, you get free sunglasses. I'm in. Where do I sign up? But no, guys, to be honest, this is like same old shit, but a different day. We should have really listened to that lyric a lot more in One Direction songs. They were trying to warn us. Because here's that picture of Louie and Danielle, and then here's the picture of Louie and Eleanor. They look like the same girl, to be honest, and Louie kind of looks the same, except his hair is a little different. Like, I feel like this is all repetition. I feel like next year, Louie won't be with Danielle. He'll be with another girl. She'll have long brown hair, and they'll take the same photo with sunglasses on. But guys, you can really tell that Harry and Louie have a type, and I'm not saying it's girls, but their type is brown hair. <laughs> and Louie and Harry both have brown hair. Like to be honest, all the girls that Louie is with look like Harry and don't even fight me on this. Their fashion sense is the same. Their hair, well, was the same because Harry used to have long hair. They have like the same sunglasses. Their faces kind of look the same. Like Louie wants people that look like Harry. Like Louie's like, you know what? If I can't have Harry, I'm gonna have someone who looks like Harry my boy. Also speaking of stunting in Louis and Danielle pictures, we found some proof that the pictures of them are staged. So there's this Twitter account called Jojo Pics and basically she's a London based photographer. And if you look on her page, she made a tweet saying thank you for more great pics at Louis Tomlinson and Danielle Campbell. And she has a screenshot of all the pictures of Louis and Danielle. And then this person says they hired a photographer. <laughs> So yeah, she's good at exposing herself. No, to be honest, this was too easy. Like usually us Larry shippers, we have to like be like hardcore detectives to find out about this stuff. But no, she just outright has a Twitter and says, I'm a London photographer. She posted the pictures of Louis and Danielle. She's like, thanks, great pics guys. Couldn't be easier. I know Louis and Danielle are famous, so obviously they're gonna get papped, but it seems like they don't try at all not to be papped. Because I'm wondering if these pap photos were planned, like staged ahead of time, or if the person just went out and took them. Because because this London photographer could have just been called out to take pictures of them like oh Louis and Danielle are here go out take pictures without them even knowing or it was all planned and Louis and Danielle knew that they were gonna be packed so I don't know which one it is regardless it still seems shady to me and it still seems like people are getting confused with locations like where Harry and Louis actually are in the world because as I said earlier someone thought that Harry was in the same location as Louis but I think he's actually in France but this post says is Louis really in France so you're telling me that he flew to London when Harry was in London a day before the wedding, then spent the day after the wedding MIA, and the day Harry is set to start filming in France, he goes to France. So I think some of that is true. I think Louis and Harry might have been in the same location for a little bit, because as we've seen with recent photos, Louis has been in Monaco and Monte Carlo. So this is why I have a hard time trusting update accounts, because they say Louis and Harry were both in France, but I don't think Louis went to France. I think Louis and Harry are both doing their own things, so I think they're not in the same location. Speaking of the Dunkirk film, it says that Harry has covered all his tattoos for the movie. So you can see that usually Harry has that cross on his hand, but for the movie he covered it up. So that's interesting. I wonder if that was Harry's choice or if he had to, but I'm not really sure how the movie industry works. I'm not sure if he was told to do it or if he just wanted to. Also, I've mentioned in a past video that Harry didn't just get this role handed to him. He actually did many readings and auditions, but this post goes into more detail about how Harry got this part. It says it wasn't because he's a well-known pop star. If anything, that was more of a detriment because it could bring the wrong message and we don't want people pulled out of the film because of who they are. So Harry really had to overcome hurdles to get past that. He fought hard for it and his work was impressive and that's what attached us to him. He read for me, then us collectively in London. He did half a dozen readings coming back and forth and it was no easy task for him. This is a young man who passionately wanted this film and he looked at a lot of actors, certainly in the hundreds, some of them very well known and many who had been to prestigious acting schools. It's a great achievement for Harry that he won it, a great feather in his cap, and we're very excited how having him for the film. I hope for him that he goes on to bigger things in Hollywood. He's a lovely guy. Harry is a lovely guy. And I'm glad more people are realizing that rather than the womanizing image he's been getting. So that was really interesting to read for me because it just sounded like Harry has always wanted this role. He tried so hard. He was competing against so many other professional actors. But when I was reading this, my whole thought was what even made Harry want to act in this movie specifically? What made it be a war movie? Why does he want to be an actor? Like I 
have so many questions for why Harry is even doing this. Part of me thinks Harry just wants to pass time. He's used to a busy schedule, so if he just sits home doing nothing, it's too boring. So he wants to make use of himself in his career. Like, oh, why not just try out for a movie? I mean, take advantage. Also, because of all the bullshit going on with Louis and Danielle, I think Harry just wants to get his mind off of that. He doesn't want to see it. So Harry thinks that if he busies himself with a movie like this, he won't be as focused on the bullshit in the media with Louis and Danielle. So I think this movie is almost like an outlet for Harry to move on, get his mind off of things, and actually mature as a person, as an artist. Maybe it's something to add to the resume. But I don't know. I think we won't know until we actually get a sit-down interview with Harry explaining this whole thing to us. Because I think when it comes to the whole band of One Direction, this is the only thing I've really been interested in, Harry in this film. This is positive media coverage. And that's all I'm gonna cover today, so if I left anything out, I'll just mention it in my next video. And remember to give me a fan fiction suggestion down below or on my Twitter or any of my social media sites listed in my description. So like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!